Hello, beautiful people. Welcome. I have had this itch to deep clean and organize my whole house, and today we are tackling the kitchen. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I went out and got some supplies. I got a couple of these grip thingies and a couple of these spacer thingies. Now let's get to work. I'm starting off by washing the spacer thingies. I don't know if most people would do this or not, but if I'm putting clean dishes in here, shouldn't these things be clean as well? And if I just got them from the store, who knows? what they've been through like people like to touch and y'all know people don't like to wash their hands so I, I wash everything if I can wash it I'm going to wash it out these cabinets and I'm just like I don't even know why I have the stuff that I have like I have all of these mason jars and I'm like what like what do I need all of these things for like honestly I may use like a good three on a given time frame but I have so many and this isn't even all of them So my plan is to clean out all of the cabinets and drawers and add these grip things to it. And honestly, I really don't even know why because I don't think it makes much of a difference. But for some reason, I feel like I have my life together if I have this, so we're adding them. You guys know the golden rule, measure twice, cut once. Well, I don't do that. I didn't need to measure. I just started cutting and clearly I should have measured. I ain't going back and redoing it either, so this is gonna have to do. And here's the part that was pissing me off, trying to organize all of this stuff. Like, I want it to be aesthetically pleasing because I'm a Leo, we love the aesthetics, but I need it to be functional for this family. And when they go in here, they need to be able to get what they're looking for and not have issues with finding it. This is with Ryan, the kids, and myself. So I had to do this over and over and over. And honestly, I still don't think I got it right. And it, it was just pissing me off. I was getting really annoyed with that cabinet so I had to walk away. Folding the kitchen towels and I love these things. I order a pack like almost every other month. Like they come in a pack of four colors. I have the blue and green for the kitchen. It comes in yellow which I use for like around the house and then pink for the bathrooms. Because mixing towels is grody. And if you're wondering why am I ordering it every other month? Because for some reason my towels keep disappearing and I don't know who is taking them, Ryan. But they keep disappearing. I say that I'm organizing the kitchen, but to be honest, it's not like it was unorganized to begin with. Most of the stuff that I'm doing is literally just taking it out, cleaning out the drawers, putting on the grip things, and putting it back exactly how it was before. But I feel like I'm doing something, you know?
stop here for the day because like I said, I was getting annoyed and I started breaking nails. I can be a little rough sometimes, but yeah, it was just, I had to stop. But the next day I went grocery shopping and I needed to get more of those grip thingies. And I don't know why, but I am always really lucky when it comes to these type of things. They were on sale for $2 and some chain. Come on now, you can't beat this. So of course I went overboard and got way more than what I needed. I was a little sad because they only had two black left and I had to get like this tan brown color but hey, beggars can't be choosers. I'm saying, I think the universe must really love me or something but whenever I get my mind into something and I'm like, okay, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, it's like whatever I want just comes to me in a very cheap way or free. Like the organizing tray that I have my utensils in, I was saying to myself that I wanted like metal one. I didn't want the plastic and I didn't want the wood. I wanted metal. But everywhere I was looking, they were really expensive. But then I went to Aldi and they were $12 a piece. But for whatever reason, that day they were on sale for $3 a piece. So you know what? I did. Alrighty, now it's time to get to tackling old Susie. This is the first time I've ever had a Lazy Susan in my life and I didn't know what to do with it. Since it's so close to the stove and oven, I just put all of my spices in here. Sometimes I think that's probably not the best idea with how messy it gets, but I'm not changing it. When I tell you this spot scared the hell out of me, I was just like, what the hell is this? Then I added some spray and realized that it was just food coloring. I used to keep all of my baking and decorating stuff in here, but then I moved it to the pantry. And thank God, because y'all see this? It wasn't hard cleaning out the dye because the spray lifted most of it, but whenever I wiped, it would just smear it all over the place. So that was a little annoying. To another cabinet we go. Once again, the whole purpose of this is to make everything more functional, but you know, like I said, I'm Leo. I like things to be pretty. So let's empty this out, repeat the process, and try not to get angry like we did with the last one. I learned my 
that lesson and this time I will measure twice and cut once. Well, sort of, kind of. I only measured once. I'm not doing this thing twice. And would you look at that? I only needed to measure once because it came out perfect. I will say this cabinet did not stress me out as bad because I'm really the only one that uses it. This is where all of my mixing bowls go and our small appliances. Ryan sometimes uses this cabinet but it's, it's not often so I could do it exactly the way I want it to without worrying about if it's going to be functional for the family or not. to organize this is where all of our vitamins go as well as the Halloween candy that we have had sitting here for like three years well there might be some Easter candy in here too I should definitely throw this candy out but you know one day today just ain't the day Forgot to mention, this is also the cabinet where I keep all of my smelly goods. This is where I keep the wax for my burner and my essential oils. My absolute favorite scent in the world is lemon. There's just something so clean and refreshing about this smell and I will put it everywhere when I'm cleaning. I'll put it in my mop water, I'll put it in like a spray bottle and just spray it around the kitchen. I just, I don't know, it just smells so good to me. Oh man, there's just so much that I need to do in this little space right here because yeah. I would like to get the pull out pot organizer and I found some on Amazon, but you know like when you can tell just by looking at something how cheap it is, like I'm, I'm not getting this because this thing is gonna break in like two days. But I'm not ready to spend real money on the ones that will probably work. So I'm just sitting here patiently waiting for the universe to do its thing and have an amazing sale that comes out of nowhere where I can get this thing for like $3.
finally done messing with all of these cabinets and drawers so i'm just gonna wipe everything down and then i'm gonna get to these floors because they are disgusting so the whole time that i was doing this i was just thinking to myself that i really need to get in shape i need an exercise stretch or something i was over here climbing on counters bending over and real deal like I got like a kink in my neck now my back kind of hurts and I really know the type of person that I am I'm gonna be wanting to do this like when I'm 70 years old and I know I don't want people in my house so if I'm gonna continue to do things like this I I need to get my life together Yeah, I'm ending this video how I always end them tired. I need to go fix my nails, so I will see you guys in the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and if you haven't yet, subscribe.